Vision of Adventure. Winter Fitness Class W01.10. The 13th of February, 2024. With Kath Finn. Vision of Adventure. Winter Fitness Class W01.10. The 13th of February, 2024. With Kath Finn. Right, good evening all. I will just introduce. Yeah, we have a small select group this evening of Scarborough Sue, Sue Jones, Liz and Teresa. Hello. 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 Ladies night. Yeah, yeah ladies, ladies night. Ladies night. And the well, night. Oh. <laughs> oh, we've got a bit of dancing going on. So we, we're going to... We're going to start just with um, four minutes of gradual warm up to increasing intensity, and Liz is going to sing along, so we're all entertained. <laughs> Liz, do you think? It's ladies night. Liz, do you go somewhere and sing? I go to a choir, yes. Yeah, because you like to. You've sung it's, a few times and it's really nice. I think nice. I'm, a, I'm the youngest there, though, I think. <laughs> <laughs> they probably it's, don't sing Ladies' Night at the choir, Liz. No. They do, um, what we're doing at the minute, we're doing, um, I'm leaving on a jet plane, don't know when I'll be back again. Oh, wow. <laughs> and um, I can't remember the rest. My, my brain's gone, sorry. <laughs> I'm We're doing we will be loved. That one. <laughs> oh, the, uh, Sue, do you one? sing as well? Yeah, yeah, I'm in a choir as well. Yeah. Oh, choir wow. as well, yeah. Yeah. I'm in rock choir. Oh, She's brilliant. Cool. Yeah. It's oh, really cool. cool. Okay, you are two minutes through this warm up bit, so you want to put your intensity up a bit. So we've got to shut up. It's basically <laughs> <laughs> then you'll get two minutes easy before we kind of repeat it again. Shh. Oh. <laughs> oh, loads, but like Diane Maynard sings as well. She's in a yeah, she does a lot of singing. Yeah. Mm. So, You're going to have to join the choir cast, or else you're going to feel left out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the choir would want me, to be honest. I think they would. Well, they did I, but when everyone else is belting out the hips, no. they don't know. <laughs> 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 just hum you go do 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 like that <laughs> but you don't yeah, know the words you don't know the words I thought I might go to ballet next autumn because I'd be atrocious at that but it'd be really good for my foot strength um, okay. is good. <laughs> last well, minute Pilates. yeah it's really good for your, your buttocks and your, your legs yeah. and your feet and that yeah you can only see the top of your head, mate. Who, mine? Yeah. You can, add it, you can see more of Liz than quite often can. I can see her whole oh. mouth. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> well, don't fall in it. So sometimes all I get is a bobble hat on the top bouncing up and down. Must be further down tonight. <laughs> right, you've got like 20 seconds. <laughs> And then we'll have to do something about the next bit because you're far too jolly. <laughs> We're always jolly. Just hysterical. I've just run about 7K on the treadmill. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, well done. And then jumped on here. Wow. Yeah. I did have enough quick work. Right, quick four work. minutes. So you're going to have two minutes nice and easy here. So get the chatting out your system. Thanks, boss. <laughs> a bit of, bit of <laughs> or I'll be in trouble. Like that. Yeah, so I'm in Cardiff. Nice. I'm spending, actually, they're doing pretty well. I'm spending nearly a week with my um, daughter and her partner. Oh, fabulous. Uh, and oh. it's uh, it's her half term, so she said, would we come down and help her paint the house or help them paint the house? Cool. So I was saying before, we've spent all weekend, three days frantically painting the outside before it rains. Oh, and it well looks done. amazing compared to how it looked before. Oh, so that's really is it good. Like a pastely colour. Um, it's um magnolia <laughs> off off white, but it was ah. um really covered with like loads of algae and stuff before it hadn't been painted for quite a long time. Ooh. Um, 
So it just looks much, much fresher. And we've put gray on the windowsills instead of, it did have black, but the gray's just lifted it a bit. Oh, that sounds lovely. So it looks much and, and much nicer. And out the front, they have um, an old iron fence, a raw iron. Um, yeah. Painted that, hammerited it black. Oh, nice. uh, so that kind of sets off the house. So, oh, yeah, it looks so much better. So, yeah, Paddy went back yesterday and I worked most of yesterday while they put guttering up and things like that. And then uh, I'm staying till Thursday to paint some of the inside. Oh, they're very lucky to have you, aren't they? They are. I hope they know that. They bought yeah, me a I'm present. Them. I was. <laughs> Say before they brought me back a pre present of a, my favourite flavour of kettle crisp. So there was lots of munching noises Ooh. before we started recording. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's two minutes. Now we're going to go back to four minutes, but this time we really do need to raise our intensity. Um, so you're all right for a minute, but I'll give you a minute count. What room are you sat in, Kath? Are you in the? I'm in her room? kind of. What would be the third bedroom at the oh, gate? Right. It's her office. Yeah. Or their office. Because um, she's a primary teacher and he's okay. doing a PhD in snail larva. Oh, nice. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, Sue. <laughs> so he has to go and pick up lots of sheep poo and look for larva. Nice. Um, okay. Interesting. But, um, it's uh, involved in, he's involved in, uh, well, it's to do with the agricultural industry because if the larva get in the sheep's liver and meat, then it has a bad effect on the sheep and the, meat, the meat's not very good and the liver's damaged. Oh. But he's looking at if you then use, like whatever they use, pesticides on the sheep to kill it, if you doze them, then what impact does that have on the bigger food web? What, what yeah. does that knock out? So he's looking at that. Um, oh, so, oh, <laughs> sorry Liz <laughs> I'll just smell snails mate, mate. <laughs> I think they're hermaphrodite aren't they they're male and female oh, oh, they yeah. oh really yeah I think so um, okay you're coming up to the middle bit so you definitely want a bit more resistance on that Why would and then, then they that? lay eggs <laughs> <laughs> so he's having a struggle this evening. And then while I was painting the dining room, I was listening to this podcast on your oxygen and your lungs and your body. And uh, and then I need to do some Googling, but the newest form of, of doping is to inject yourself with some kind of worm blood, which Ooh. apparently Ooh. raises you. Oxygen carrying capacity. <laughs> really? <laughs> and it's undetectable, but it only lasts for three hours. So, um, so, well, really, I don't know, Sue, but this was quite a, like it's um, fast talk, which is quite a scientific and well-regarded cycling podcast. So um, cool. we'll see, but that was weird. Uh, they Maybe said there's no point in... I can get some for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not oh, going yeah. down that Would you line. Mind? <laughs> Definitely not going down that line. <laughs> I don't want to dope and I don't want worm blood in me either. <laughs> we need Dr. Michael Mosley to test it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, I was on the Zoe podcast as well today. I tell you what, I've, wow, have I done podcasts? Right, you've got oh, one yeah. more minute. I turn it up and I listened to two of them. So one was about the impact of ultra processed food on your brain health, oh, which was really interesting, uh, and it causes damage in your in your brain between the neural ends. Okay. Um, so that was a bit like, oh, but what it did say was that doing, which I've heard before, that doing weight training also actually trains your brain. And reduces your chances of Alzheimer's, so that was good. Oh. Um, so go go weight training, so it protects your bones and it reduces your chances of Alzheimer's. 
Um, and that's because your brain has to work in order to coordinate lifting properly. Um, so that was good. Okay. Um, and now that's your four minutes. So now I want you to hold two minutes at a reasonable intensity. Okay. I'm looking at your faces here. Sue Jones, you're probably about there. Liz looks like she's seen a ghost, so I'm not sure what's yeah. happened there. <laughs> Teresa, I'm not sure you look worried enough. You might have to put yours up a little bit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and Sue's also got enough breath to laugh, but we'll let you away with that. <laughs> now we're going to do two minutes at this. So you've done half a minute, so you've got another minute and a half. Um, And his other one... The other Zoe podcast was about fasted exercise, which was also interesting. Uh, um, about what because, exercise, sorry? Do you think that's good or not? Well, I think there's quite a lot of controversy about it. Um, you always ask really good questions, Liz. Um, I'm just trying to calculate how long you've got here. You've got another minute. Can I get through it in a minute? Probably not. Um, so my coach gets me to do at the minute kind of one fasted session a week. So it's maybe yeah. like this morning was a 40 minute run. If it's a bike, it might be up to an hour and a half. And the idea behind it is that exercising in a fasted state encourages your body to burn fat. Right. It, it's not a method of losing weight. It's right. a method of accessing alternative fuel, which means that if you're an efficient fat burner, if you're doing endurance events or long cycle trips, you can go for longer before your body runs out of fuel. So it's quite a good yeah. thing. Okay. Right. There end of chapter one. You've got 10 seconds. Oh, I'm going to give you slightly longer. So the next thing we're going to do is 15 seconds of sprint. So we're going to only do two of those, but this is the part of your warm up where we do that spin up. So we have a bit of resistance. We turn our legs over really fast and we're sprinting um, and we we'll do 15 seconds and then 45 seconds of easy and then 15 seconds. So I'll take it down. to the. We'll go in 10 seconds time or otherwise I'll lose count. Yeah. Got to keep life simple. Three, two, one, go, sprint. Absolutely go for it. Okay, brilliant. Everybody's going. I can see fringes moving, bodies bobbing. <laughs> now we're going for it. Yeah, Lizzie's curls are bouncing up and down. That's good. <laughs> Three, two, one, ease off. I wash my hair specially for you tonight, Kath. Oh, thank you. I haven't. I've been running and it's all wet and sweaty. I've been swimming, sir. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, so there is quite a lot of controversy and it used to be seen as a really good thing to do. And a lot of the pro cyclists used to do a lot of fasted training. It was pretty miserable. Yeah. Recently, there's been quite a lot of discussion about that it's not effective. Mm. But... They say it's Michael, for... Go on, sorry. Michael Mo not Michael Mosley, Zoe, yeah. was saying that it, in the studies that they've looked at, it definitely is effective yeah. um, and that it encourages you to burn a bigger quantity of fat, uh, to get more fuel from fat, and it lowers your insulin dependence or your insulin um, response, okay. which both are really <laughs> healthy things to be able to do. So it was yeah. really interesting to hear that. We're going again in 10 seconds. It depends whether they've like double blind tested it though, doesn't it really? I love scientists. I really Three, two, one, go. 15 seconds. <laughs> and ease off. Okay, 45 seconds, nice and easy, just to recover. Um, there, there are... I'm sure there must be a meta study somewhere because mm. it's so well known that there will be a number of studies around. Because there's different ways of doing it, isn't there? There's a five two, and then is it eight this hours is, in the? And then... This is completely different, Liz, to the oh, concept is it compared... of intermittent oh, right. um, fasting. So you just don't eat before you exercise, basically. Yeah. Um. So you, but it has to be in the morning. 
right, yeah, okay. You want like a so get up time. and just come in here and do on my bike yeah. or treadmill, yeah, and then have my breakfast afterwards, yeah, okay. And um, how long would you have fasted prior to doing it? Well, kind of overnight. So you'd okay. be like twelve hours anyway, nearly, wouldn't you? Yeah. So it's an easy in the garage. Yeah. yeah, in its easiest form, you just eat. Uh, hopefully, people eat relatively early. So you eat uh, the night before, and then um, you, you yeah, you just get up and instead of having breakfast, you do some exercise, right. um, oh, and that's it in its simplest form. Right. And there are weeks. This week. Well, the, <laughs> I think something that's really important about that is that you exercise at the chatty pace. Yeah. It's low intensity um, because if you like, for instance, well, if you did one of these workouts or if you asked your body to go and lift weights, mm. then it wouldn't be happy. Yeah. Um, you also don't do it too often because if you, it is drawing on your resources because you're not fueled. So it will lower your immune system and, and slow your recovery right. if you do it a lot. So there's lots of caveats on it. Right. We're just going to think a little bit about um, what we were doing last week, which was thinking about the power going through one leg. And I'm not going to go back through everything that we did. I just want you for a minute to think about one leg at a time, pushing over the top. Remember, we were talking about as your knee gets to the nearest point, nearest to the skin, you want to already be putting power on and then really pushing down. And we discovered that we needed to put the resistance up because actually we can generate more power than we thought. So I just want you to think about your right leg for a minute. We'll give you 30 seconds, not doing anything, well, pedaling, but not thinking. And then a minute with your left leg. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that will fire a few things. OK, so we're going right leg for a minute. Three, two, one, go. And I will try and put the metronome up. There we go. So you want to be holding that, really thinking about putting the force through your right leg. And if you need to put resistance up, put it up slightly because you don't want to be spinning faster than this beat. Lovely, you've got 20 seconds left. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Just, just don't think about either leg just for 30 seconds. And then we want to do a minute thinking about the left leg. So you've just about got time for a quick drink if you want one. <laughs> Ten seconds to go. <clears throat> Three, two, one, go. Left leg for a minute. Just really thinking about using the muscles on that side just to really push power through it. Lovely, but I can't quite remember if we started on half past or not. So we'll just keep going. There we did. <laughs> You've got 20 seconds left. And normally I'm pretty on with my timing. Good job, because none of us have got a bloody clue. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you anything. We just do as we're told. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. <Yeah. laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> And relax. Just turn that off. Okay, so we're going to take that and use all those lovely muscles that we've just woken up to do a little bit of overgeared. Oh, good. 
So you're getting really good at these things now. So what that means is that we slow our cadence right down. Then I'll put the metronome onto 60. And we want quite a high resistance so that we're feeling our glutes and our quads. That's where most of the power is coming from. And we're not going to do too long. We're going to do only two sets. We're going to do two minutes with 30 seconds off. And we're still just thinking about making sure that our glutes are activated. Before we start, just do what we did last week when I could see you all bobbing up and down. Just clench both buttocks and then relax, just so that you've actually got them working. <laughs> just make sure you find them. I'm doing it too. I can see myself bobbing up and down on the chair. <laughs> Lovely. Now just try clench your right one. And get a lopsided bob. Ooh, that's a <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now clench your left one. Like clench and release. So it's like five times going up, maybe. <laughs> Lovely. So hopefully I could see people moving up and down. So I'm assuming we've all actually found our glutes, which not Glute everybody can. Huh? So like I know everybody's got them. Everybody must use them or you'd collapse when you stand up. Yeah. But some people in my chest studio on a Thursday are like, I'm sure I'm not using my glutes on the bike. So we're actually going to do some activation stuff this week with them. Oh, good. Um, engage their glutes. So I'm going to get them doing this as well. So two minutes of overgeared. At which point those glutes should be working quite well. And off you go. What beats that? Is that 60 then? Or? That's 60. Nice. You should feel your glutes and your quads pushing, and it should feel quite hard work. And this is what you do to build strength in your legs. So, yes, you can do it up hills, but if you are sitting on your bike in a garage, this is a really good thing to do. Give you some really good leg strength for the sun. <laughs> Okay, 45 seconds through, so you've still got a minute and 10 seconds to go. Sorry, Liz, yes, that long. I was doing my breathing techniques. So... Oh, well done. <laughs> a minute to go. The other thing with, with fasted training is inevitably most of the research is done with men because that's yeah. how the world works. Um, if you read or listen to um, Stacey Sims, who's written an awful lot about the menopause, um, yeah. she will say, oh, women don't do fasted training. It raises your cortisol and it increases your um, fat storage. But I'm always slightly suspicious of her. And then when you read it in more depth, what she actually says is don't do hard training, which I totally agree yeah. with. Um, but she's oh, running a multi-million yeah, multi pound business. So she yeah. has a remit to say things that will make her stand out and be different. Uh, okay. I've been following a lady called Holly Perkins. She does really good podcasts on Ooh. menopause, weight training. Three, about, two, yeah. one. Sorry. And just spin your legs for a minute. Go on, Liz. Um, Holly Perkins, she's American, but she's got really good podcasts on menopause and weight training and how Ooh. you need to do weight training as you're getting older and yeah, um, food and well, you send oh, me wow. the link, get off your scales and, and don't look at the scales, look at your body and things like that. She's really good. Uh, it sounds really good. Yeah, you put the link on the, on the WhatsApp group. Yeah. I'll have a look, yeah, if I can. Yeah. If, you, if you can, you, you can you can listen to them for free, but obviously she's got things. She tries to get you to pay to join her one to one, but there's loads of free stuff on YouTube as well. So yeah, um, <coughs> what I'm looking at today, the one oh, well, I'll try and put on. No, that's the wrong thing. Sorry, it's just looking it up. Ooh, where's my podcast gone? I'll she set won't. you off on the next bit, and then I'll look for them. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> You've just done your minutes, so we're going to go back for two minutes of overgeared effort. So resistance up again. 
nice and steady pushing off the go. Very funny having punctuated conversations in amongst distractions about quite serious topics. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. The one that I'm listening to is Zoe, Science and Nutrition. Right. And is she going to do doing Marks and Spencer's food at the minute? No, it's done by... Quite a different oh, Zoe. Oh, what's this? Tim Spencer. Oh, right. He's a doctor who's running... He does... You can sign up and you get a glucose mm. monitor, you get your poo sample, right. you, you eat a cookie, yeah. it, it looks yeah. at your gut health and your blood health and your sugar levels and glucose levels. Mm. And then it Ooh. looks at how your body works and it um, individualizes um, food. And I won't say diet, I'll say food advice right. as to what works for you to mm. lower your inflammation, to lower your glucose spikes, to... Um, yeah, to, to basically have a and then have a healthier gut microbiome. Right. And I know quite a few, well, I know a handful of people that are on it. It's just fascinating. And what they're doing is using the data from this, like hundreds and thousands, more well, thousands of people that are on it or have been on it. Mm. And you give consent for your data to be used. They're building right. up this enormous body of evidence of, of the impact of, of foods on different people. Yeah. It's really interesting, but they've got some great podcasts. Next week, which is what I've just switched on by mistake. Uh, yeah. But yeah, really interesting podcast. I recommend you, that. Would you put that Thanks. on the WhatsApp? Yeah, please, please. I'll and three, two, one, and just bend your legs out. Okay, we are now. Right, what I hope to do with that was just fire your muscles up a little bit and encourage your glutes to come and join the party. And then we're going to use all that lovely power that we've just got, got hold of and generated. And we've had so much power that Liz has knocked her, her camera sideways and now I can just Hi. see the top of her head. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's that. I love it. So, you can take the top off. Oh, steady. We're going to do a bit, a bit of a pyramid thing. So, we're going to do two minutes medium effort at 90 cadence. Um, and it must be working because there's a, a garage, garage dwellers taking a sweatshirt off. Um, so, no, I'm boiling tonight. And then we're going to have 30 seconds rest to go again. And then we're going to build that to two minutes plus 30 seconds standing and then two minutes, 30 seconds standing and 30 seconds sprint. So gradually what you're being asked to do in those two minutes is going to increase. But I'll talk you through each bit of those when we get there. So we're going to start with two minutes of medium effort. So out of 10, that should be around a seven. You shouldn't be able to talk fully, maybe broken sentences, but not completely, um, at 90 cadence. So three, two, one, go. We're going to do two of these with half a minute in between, and then we'll have a minute off and I'll tell you the next. That's your cadence 90, which I'll leave on. So there should be quite a lot of effort going in. And we should have remembered that we've just woken all those muscles up. So those muscles, hopefully, will be working so that if you had power meters, we would see an increased output in your power. And more power equals more speed. Nice. There's some breathing noises, so that's a good sign. Good. So we're coming up for a minute. And I like all the debates about stuff because 
there's usually more than one side to an argument or usually more than one set of information and you have to read around it as much as you can and decide whether it's well something is a good thing or a bad thing depending where you sit um so it is really interesting what about creatine gummies that are um popular apparently at the minute they're like Ooh. they're like um fruit pastels but creatine apparently so basically dosing extra form of protein i take creatine well i don't at the minute but i will do fairly soon um, it is one of the most tested um, of anything that people are taking, and it does help to build muscle strength. Three, two, one, 30 seconds off. But I'm going to keep that cadence on. So lessen your resistance, move around if you need to, have a drink. Um, Liz, I don't know anything about the gummies particularly. Yeah. yeah. But... Uh, creatine is a really, really well known and well regarded supplement. Yeah. Um, but it does overload the kidneys. So um, you, you almost you go through a loading re regime. So you take like five grams for a certain length of time, five yeah. grams a day. Um, but it's really important that you come off it at times and give your kidneys a rest because it right. tends to overload them. Is it right? So if you've got any kidney issues, don't go anywhere near it. Right. Um, there's lots of studies that say that that it doesn't do that, but one or two doctors that I've spoken to just kind of sounded a word of caution, and you certainly don't want to play with overdosing on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to go again, same cadence. Uh, three, two, one, go. Two minutes. Right, about a level seven effort. So you should feel that hopefully, if you're inside, you should definitely be sweating. Um, you should feel that it's a little bit uncomfortable and you don't really want to hold back for 40 minutes without a break. And I've got a couple of uh, from people. So that is good. <laughs> Okay, half a minute gone. So I come off completely through the end of season and through the, the depth of winter, and then I probably take it for six to eight weeks, uh, coming up into my season and then leave it. It does make you, it can make you put on a little bit of weight because it encourages your muscles to store water. Um, I tend to put on maybe, may, I might put on a kilo. Uh, it does tend to have a massive impact on me, but it does on some people put on much more. And it depends what you're trying to do with it, really. Like if you're trying to be the best hill climber in the world, you know, a kilo is too much, but I'm just trying to keep going for a long time, so probably all right. Okay, you've got half a minute left. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. There's a little bit of people looking like they need to, so that's good. Okay, now we're going to do that level of effort for two minutes. And then we're going to add a 30 second stand at the end of it. So we're kind of building up the impact here. Nice. It's very difficult to know. I think weeding your way between all all the stuff that's been thrown at you in terms of health, yeah, supplements and that—it's all it's such a big thing, isn't it? Like yeah. whey protein, protein isolate, three, creatine. two, one, off you go. Vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin B. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
vitamin A, vitamin E. <laughs> ah, you could Collagen. just, you could spend a fortune and you could yeah. completely fill every cupboard in your house full of stuff that people have said is, is good. So, it's vitamin radical, C, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Vitamin C should come from food. Um, yeah. Vitamin D is... Vitamin D3 is the only thing that I would yeah, say to all my yeah. clients to take. And the NHS says that as well. Yeah. Um, and after that, a GP had a really interesting chat and said they did a study on all a lot of different supplements and holistic medicines. Um, and they didn't find enough proof in the meta study to say that they would prescribe things. But what they did find, which is weird, was that some things work seem to work for some people whether that's psychological or whether mm -hmm. like food different supplements have a different impact on people I don't know you need to be really careful with medication as well don't you what what medication yeah. on and supplements because it can really yeah. affect your medication as well yes and the things that you think are really good can actually cause quite a lot of damage so it's yeah. worth really reading around and like ask your calcium, doctor. you have to be careful with. Yeah. Ask your ask GP. Your doctor. Yeah. Ask your GP. <laughs> There's your medical uh, thing issue there for you, Cap. <laughs> yeah. No. Check things it's out. Though, isn't it? Yeah. De oh, definitely. Because you can think you're being really healthy and <laughs> do yourself a yeah. huge amount of damage. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so we're actually coming up to two minutes. So in 10 seconds, we're going to stand for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, stand. Lovely. 10 seconds gone. Ten seconds left. <clears throat> Three, two, one, sit and relax. Ooh. Like that. Yeah. <sighs> okay, that's one of those done. So we're going to do another one of those. And you've got kind of half a minute left. I feel like my legs are really working tonight. Hey, um, oh, so maybe that muscle stuff at the beginning works. Yeah, no, it does. That's good. Well, I take a ludicrous amount of stuff for someone who does have said she'd never take anything. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so I take iron and B12. Right. Um, but both of those are as a result of blood tests, so I'm not just throwing yeah. them down my throat. Mm. And but um, iron's for running, isn't it? I was reading about your blood and iron uh, running. You need to have liver and pate and yes. iron with food if you're a runner. Three, two, one, and off you go again at that intensity of about seven. I would say if you're an athlete, and particularly as you get older, and well, if you're a younger woman, but again, uh -huh. when you get older, your body's less efficient. Females have more problems processing iron than men do. So it's very common for females to have low iron. Um, and for, for any, for runners, yes, but also for scientists. Is it? Yeah. Um, because iron and B12 and folate join to ensure that your haemoglobin works properly and you're picking up you can carry sufficient oxygen yeah. if your iron counts are down when you get anemia it's because your body isn't capable of carrying oxygen to the muscles not oxygen. enough yeah. so as your iron levels come up your ability to do that improves and therefore your performance can improve but if you overdose then you have all kinds of issues your liver can't handle it and it just, so that's where if you're blood tested, if you're, getting, if you're going to the doctor and they're doing a blood test, it's always worth saying, oh, can you just stick a line on that? Um, yeah. And checking it out. Um, but yes, 
and yeah red meat is the biggest source of iron so vegans vegetarians it's yeah. really hard yeah you know you've got another 30 seconds eat your own body weight in kale <laughs> 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 now there's a challenge <laughs> So I was <laughs> 63 kilos of kale that were like, <laughs> suffocate under it all. Okay, 10 seconds, and then we're going to stand. <laughs> Three, two, one, stand up. It's horrible stuff as well, though, isn't it, kale? Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah, I like, I like it. it. Yeah. yeah. What do you, how do you cook it then? Do you fry it or just put... And salads and you do it generally i cook it in pasta quite a lot and then it's just sort of in there and you don't really notice it oh. quite a lot of people um toast it grill it like chips put, right. it in a hot oven. Oh. put a little yeah. bit of olive oil on it salt and pepper yeah, yeah it does a little Three, bit like seaweed if you do it two, in the oven one and sit to do it okay. like with roasted vegetables um yeah. if you put it in the oven yeah, it's like seaweed. It goes really crispy, but you don't want to do it as a roasted veg because it only takes about, it doesn't take very long, maybe it's three, like, four minutes. Okay. Whereas a roasted nice. veg will take ages. It's nice yeah. as well Stick to it on at the end. Yacht, but if you put it in the oven in a parcel with like, I don't know, tofu or whatever, it's quite nice as well. Tofu? <laughs> All right, they get a steak for you. What you know? <laughs> Are you veggie soon? Are you vegetarian? Huh? Are you vegetarian? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise. Oh, that's okay. all right. Um, <laughs> just curious. <laughs> so this time we've got two minutes of hard, thirty seconds of stand, and then you sit down and thirty seconds of sprint. So right at the Ooh. beginning, we did 15 seconds of sprint, and you know how that felt. Now, 30 uh -huh. seconds is really horrible to hold. It's just too long to do a full-out sprint, especially after standing. So think about your pacing on it, but yeah. give it your best effort. So here we go. This... Get this going. This is like Three. a Les Mills class. Three, two, one, <laughs> okay. go. Les Mills has got nothing on our Les cap. Mills spinning class. Oh, dear. I don't take that as a compliment. Don't you? Yours is ten times better, though. <laughs> she says rescuing herself quickly before <laughs> I do something horrible. <laughs> you got to sleep some time, Lizzie, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get some focus and a little bit of determined effort. We're going to do two more of these. So we'll do two with the sprint standing and then the sprint. And we'll see where we're at. I've got one client that we're sharing NutriCheck diaries. So if I can see hers, she can see mine, and I want to be able to see hers. So I'm now really super conscious of what I'm doing. <laughs> this could be really bad. <laughs> so now I have to confess publicly that I've just eaten half a giant packet of kettle crisps. <laughs> like, it's like my fitness pal. Don't share it with anybody. Don't pretend anyone on fitness pal. Uh... Okay, you've got another minute. It might make me raise my game. It might be good for me. <laughs> Half a minute to go. <laughs> Getting tired now, old calf. <laughs> Good. I'm not surprised <laughs> after all you're running. I've got to do with you. I've been in about five weeks. I've got to be on it. Hooray! So are you going for a little run after this? No. I'm not. <laughs> I'm going um, to eat pancakes. <laughs> three, two, one, and stand up. What's your next event, Kath? Um... Oh, I've got a duathlon as well. We've got 10 seconds to go until we're going for the sprint. 
Three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds worth. Well done. Brilliant efforts. Halfway through. Great job. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, ease. Well done. Take a minute and then we're going to do that again. I like that one. Are you doing the grass meal one, Kath? No, I'm doing one. I don't even know where it is, actually. I know I can drive to it in the morning, but I actually haven't got a clue where it is. It's an off-road run and an on-road bike, but you do it in pairs. Oh, the fire service one. Yeah. Oh, it yeah, looks the, really good, that. The firefighters do athlete. It does look really good. Yeah. Uh, I've done it a long time ago, and I've partnered with somebody who's a lot stronger than me, so I'm going to have a very uncomfortable day. <laughs> I tried running with another guide runner again last week, and they just go too fast, and I just... I then stopped well, that's, really hard. So that's not their job. Okay, no. had your minute. Three, two, oh. one, and go. So we're going back to 90 cadence and about a seven effort level. And then when we get to wind down, Sue, I'll hear some more about yours, but you shouldn't be able to tell me that much about it in the minute. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But anyone who can sing is not working hard enough. Actually, I think it's a radio or a phone or something, but I thought it was somebody singing. I was like, ah, you should not be able to sing. Interference. I have got the radio going. It's not loud, Teresa, it's fine. You've got another minute to go. <laughs> but as a guide, you should slow down and go at the pace that suits your the runner uh, that you're guiding. However, you're in trouble oh. when your runner that you're guiding can go faster than you can. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can't win because my last guide runner, I binned off because he was running too slow. So <laughs> <laughs> And now you've gone out of the frying pan into the fire. Now getting yeah. burnt off. Okay, you've got 10 seconds to go before we stand up. <laughs> Three, two, one, and stand. <laughs> nice, ten seconds left. Three, two, one, sprint. Oh, picking it up, picking it up. Well done. Yay, good job. Good, halfway through, nearly there. <coughs> Means you've only got 10 seconds left. <laughs> Brilliant. Three, two, one, relax. <laughs> well done. I guess that might be enough sprinting. <laughs> nice. 
Christ. So we'll just spend a little while, just spin legs, and then we've just got enough time to do a, a little bit of a sting in the tail. Of course we have. You're in a right giggly mood tonight, Sue. Is that? Gee, you're, in, is. you're in a right giggly mood tonight. I am. I'm looking forward to the pancakes, I think. It's my favourite day of the year. <laughs> looking forward to what? Panca oh, you got some pancakes. I just bought myself one of those tea fowl hotspot pans Ooh, to cook them in. Oh, nice. I get so excited. Ooh, what are you having with them? Oh, old traditional made lemon and sugar. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, I've got some maple syrup, actually. Mmm. Oh, and I live on my own, so I don't have to share them. <laughs> that's like me and my crisps i'm debating if i have to take them downstairs and offer them round. i'm like no they're mine <laughs> okay right what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 40 seconds on 20 seconds off so 40 20s and off is a bit of a euphemism for not quite as hard now we have done some of these before they're not actually out and out sprints and we're going to do about three minutes four minutes worth so that and it is quite difficult so we want to keep our cadence between kind of 90 and 100 so a slightly faster cadence is okay that'll help you get enough force to keep the spin the 40 seconds wants to be at about an effort level eight nine so it's about eight it's a bit harder than the two minutes you've been doing. And then the 20 wants to be at about the two minute level of effort. So effectively, we're playing around your aerobic threshold and we're going slightly over it and slightly under it and slightly over it and slightly under it. And that will develop your resistance, that's for sure, <laughs> your, your um, tolerance. Um, should produce some lactate and your body will have to deal with it. Um, but it's not that easy, so we'll only do like three or four minutes worth, and then that'll be enough. Okay? Yes, <laughs> we'd love to. Yes, so we'd lucky. love to. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'll give you the 90, but if you're slightly above it, don't worry, but it's not a flat-out spin like you've been doing for the sprints, or otherwise you're just going to implode. It needs to be a bit more controlled than that. All right, three, two, one, go. 40 seconds. I'll give you that as a bit of a guide. So you should be about eight, nine. It should feel pretty uncomfortable. Twenty seconds gone. Thirty gone. Three, two, one. Twenty seconds. A bit easier. So you're now in about level level six. Still not on like it's not a rest. Five seconds till you go up again. Three, two. One back to forty seconds. Lovely, well done. Twenty gone. Thirty gone. Three, two, one. Twenty seconds easy. Uh, so about level six. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, back up. You're now halfway through the set. 
So you're doing really, really well. This is the last hard thing we're going to do. And you're nailing it. It's got quite a few little spikes in it tonight, Saturn. Uh, 40, 30 seconds gone. Three, two, one, level six. It's a little bit easier. And then you've got one more minute of pain. Three, two, one, the last forty seconds. <clears throat> Ten seconds gone. Twenty gone. <clears throat> Brilliant. Fantastic efforts. Amazing. 30 seconds on. Three, two, one, effort six. The last 20 seconds. Just hang on in there. Get that last 20 seconds out. Awesome job. Brilliant. Well done. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one and rest. Very well done. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <sighs> Lovely. I'm just going to close recording. If you are listening to this on record, please now take five minutes to just cool down and you allow your body to recover a little bit from that. Oh, that is the end of the class recording. Complete your cool down until your heart rate and body temperature have returned more comfortable levels. This recording will continue for a further five minutes to help you complete your cool down. There will be no audio sound until the end of the five minute period. The next class is on the 20th of February, 2024. We hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you from Vision of Adventure.
That is the end of the cool down period. Well done on completing the fitness class brought to you by Vision of Adventure. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to be notified when the next video is ready or to come back and repeat this class another time.